Hey Desmond. Mm -hmm. Give me a sound that has a really high pitch frequency. <laughs> I'm Rich Lund, and welcome to another special Halloween edition of Indie Labs, where we put the science in your hands. Halloween has got to be my favorite holiday. Candy, costumes, you get the chance to be spooky and scary. I just wish we could celebrate a little bit more frequently. Right now, the frequency of Halloween is once per year. See, that's what frequency is. It's how often something happens. In science, we like to talk about frequency as being how often something happens each second. And the unit to describe how often something happens per second is hertz. If something has a frequency of 5 hertz, well that means it's happening 5 times each second. When it comes to sound, frequency describes how often the sound is happening each second. If a sound has a high frequency, that means it's happening often each second. High frequency equals to something that we call a high pitch. When a sound has a high pitch, it sounds like this. And when a sound has a low frequency and it's happening a lot less often, it ends up happening a low pitch. And it sounds like this. Well, who better to help us explore this idea during the Halloween season than that Pokemon character Ghastly? Today, we're going to make some screaming Ghastly balloons. And we're going to learn a little bit about sound frequency. Here's what you're going to need. You want to get some rubber party balloons. They don't have to be black, but if you're making some Ghastlies, that's certainly going to be an added bonus. You'll also need some six-sided hexagonal nuts. Now, if you just want to do the science experiment, really that's all you need. But if you want to have some fun decorating for the holiday season with the Gasleys, you're also going to want some colored construction paper. And you'll need some scissors and tape. So what exactly is the idea here? How are balloons and hex nuts going to help us learn about sound frequency? Well, here's how it works. We're going to give the hex nuts some energy, get them moving. And as they roll, Every single time, they're going to hit one of those sides against the surface they're rolling on. For our experiment, it's going to be the interior of a balloon. Every time it hits, it's going to make a sound. If we can get it to roll fast and hit often, it's going to be a very high-pitched sound. If it slows down and it's hitting less often, well, that's going to be a lower frequency, and you're going to get a lower-pitched sound. All right, so let's have some fun to test out this idea, and let's get some help from my nephew, Desmond. Here we go. So, for this Halloween episode, we are here again with Desmond. Hi. And we got some balloons and we got these hexagonal nuts. How good are you at blowing up balloons? I'm really good. One time um, I was at summer camp, I had a balloon and I blowed it up really good. Yeah. That big? And it didn't pop? No. What happened to that balloon? But when I was in the car it popped. So here, take your balloon, take your nut, put the hex nut into the balloon. Okay, now I want to see you blow it up not as large as you can, but to a pretty good size. That's pretty good. Now we have to tie it in a knot. I'm gonna tie it for you. Now here's where the fun part is. Now that it's in there, if we give it a little bit of energy, it's gonna roll around inside. So I try to do a nice swirling motion. Observe. Like circling around a balloon super fast. It's circling around the balloon really, really fast. Okay, now. <laughs> do you notice sometimes it makes a different kind of sound? Yeah. Like if we go just a little bit. Yeah, that's really good. But if I go really fast. It's a high frequency. It's like a race car zooming around. It is. So when I have it going fast, it's hitting that balloon many times each second. That's why we get a really high pitch noise. But when it's going slow, it's only hitting a few times each second. And so we get a much lower sound, lower pitch frequency. The more, the more, the faster. Okay, but this is Halloween, right? This is the Halloween episode. We gotta make these scarier. Do you wanna make some ghastlies? Yeah. yeah. We're making the eyes. We're gonna cut out some half circles here. Yeah. Got it out. Next, we're gonna use the one eye 
to trace the next one. Okay, so we got two eyes. Let's get a mouth going. Gasly has like a really large, smiling mouth. Have you ever seen a ghost? I'm sure it's so, the shadow is what looks like humans might be a ghost. You're sure that it might be? Yeah, I'm sure that might be. I like that word might. So we've got two eyes and a mouth, but what's missing in the eyes? Pupils. Pupils. And what's missing in the mouth? What does Gasly also have? Teeth. We're gonna solve both problems at once. We're gonna cut out some little triangle pupils, and then that is gonna be the tooth. And we're gonna do it for both eyes, so that way we get two teeth. Okay, now he's gonna tape these down. Now he's got his teeth. All right, so here's gonna be the eyes. You see his pupils? <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we'll tape those on. Go ahead and press that on right there. Whoa. Go ahead and push the mouth. There is your Gasly. Gasly. You like your Gasly? Yes. So we just made a Gasly, but I don't think we had enough fun with this yet. What might make this even more fun? Explosion! Explosion. Let's do it. We just so happen to have some dry ice and a hammer conveniently lying around. A little bit of hot water for energy and a safe distance, and we were ready to have a little bit more Halloween fun. Hurry up, that's a lot of sneeze. Yeah, that's how good. Good. Come on, Gasly. And of course, when the magic happened, we weren't looking. Whoa, oh, I did it! <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Well, there you go. Hope you had fun with this one. I hope it really adds to your festive Halloween experience this season. Leave a comment below. Let us know how it turned out for you. And as always, that thumbs up like is very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to get some more indie labs in the future. And I hope you all have a very safe yet spooky Halloween. Catch you next time.